burned out homes and debris are what little is left of the village of Solon in North Burkina Faso. At least 132 people, including several children, were killed in a violent village raid over the weekend. Another 40 were wounded in one of the country's worst militant attacks in recent years. Prime Minister Christophe Joseph Marie Dabure spoke with survivors at a nearby hospital on Monday and visited Solon himself. There, he condemned the rise of, quote, terrorist extremist groups. La sécurité, c'est la... Security is the government's responsibility. It's the responsibility of security and defense forces, but it's also the responsibility of the entire population. People need to commit to working with us, so recruitment of our young people by extremist groups stops. No group has claimed responsibility for the raid yet. The country declared a 72-hour national mourning period in the wake of the attack. Jihadist attacks linked to al-Qaeda and the Islamic State have been on the rise in West Africa this year. That's despite the presence of thousands of UN peacekeepers. The Sahel region, including Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, has been hit hardest by the violence. In just over two years, more than a million people have been displaced in Burkina Faso, where some 20,000 refugees from neighboring Mali also reside.